Hello YouTube, it's John Kendrick TV, and I'm here to show you a tutorial video of how to add games to your Providence em emulator app um, on your Apple TV. Uh, I am on Apple TV 4K, but this should be able um, to work with all the Apple TVs, uh, Apple TV devices. Um, in my previous videos, you saw how to add Cody or Provenance or Popcorn Time, any app that's on the AppDB um, website. And uh, those are just two games that I previously added before making this video. Now, when you're here, you're going to want... Um, this is just the, um, the games that I already have loaded. Um, that's the Game Boy Advance Session. Um, and so if you scroll down, it's, it's, you can see all the games that I've added over time. Um, I rarely play them because I rarely have time to play them. And um, when I do have time, I'm usually on 2K on my PlayStation 4. But go up to the top, click on the plus sign. It's going to take you to this um, page. Top, type in the top address onto your laptop. You could be on Windows or MacBook. Just go to the Internet Explorer or Safari. Type that in, okay? And it's going to be able to take you to this page right here that I'm about to show you on the next clip. Now, on your laptop, it's going to take you to this. I already have folders um, that were created, um, but I clicked on the Game Boy Advance folder, and this is the folder that you can add the games to. Now, um, you can go to Google and type in GBA ROMs and just go to any website that you use. Um, I went to this website and uh, you just download the games. You find the game that you want to download and you're going to upload that to um, the web page that we just came from, the Providence um, IP address that adds the games wirelessly to your Apple TV and the Providence app. Now, I'm just scrolling games, um, you know, trying to find a game that I, I, I would play. Uh, right here, I found the Mortal Kombat Advanced game. Something not too large. Um, I could download it quickly for the purposes of this video. Uh, you want to go ahead and uh, download as soon as it's available. And it went right ahead and went ahead and download. Make sure that it's in the download folder. It is. So you go over back to the Providence page, click on Upload File. You find it in your downloads folder and you click the uh, the file that you want to upload it to once that's done you go back over to your apple tv and you will see this uh game added into your um your library so you're back to this screen you can go ahead and press stop this is your apple tv um, just press stop and you can either go up to the settings at the top not that one, but just scroll up one more time and you go to settings. And um, on this page, you will see refresh game library. And that's basically where you can just um, refresh it. Um, that can take a little time, but uh, if you don't want to do that, just do this. You would actually go to um, your home screen, double tap on the TV screen on your uh Apple TV remote, slide over and slide up. That's gonna close Providence out. You reopen it and it's gonna refresh your library. And there the game that you just added will be there. As you can see to the right, Mortal Kombat Advance. Now, um, before I play the game, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go to my home screen, go down to end control. Shout out to Neato TV on Twitter. Um, this is his app, his um tweet that he made for the Apple TV. I turn on my PlayStation 4 controller and it's going to connect it to my Apple TV. Um, I do have a Nimbus controller, still series Nimbus controller, but I'm going to use my PlayStation 4 controller. Um, and I go back to the home screen and I go back into Providence. When I go back into Providence, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how the game runs, how it plays and um, everything like that. Okay. And, um, yeah, man, if you guys need me to show you or make a video for um, adding PlayStation 1 games, which can be a little more difficult and complex, or Seiko games, um, just hit me up in the comments. I'd be more than happy to make a video on it. If this isn't um, 
<clears throat> excuse me, clear enough for you guys, let me know and I'll try to do do a better job of, you know, doing a tutorial video. Go ahead and open it up. This is going to give you two uh, emulators that you can use to play this game. Um, I was playing this with my PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, still not used to the response and the, uh, you know, kind of stickiness of the game. But, hey, it works. Um, there's no problems. I'm not sure about the sound. I'll check into the sound to see if it's um, going to play during this actual record another video yeah man um i guess i'll let you see me get my behind kicked by sub-zero for whatever reason they actually had me fighting sub-zero when i had sub-zero it's been so long since i played this game um since my teenage childhood years and so yeah um this is the apple tv game boy advance emulator running through provenance Shout out to the creators of Providence. It's a very stable build. It's, it's, it's good. I, I don't I don't have any problems with it. Yeah, man, enjoy. You guys can add any game um, using the method that I showed you. As um, long as you're able to download that ROM, um, you can upload it through that website that um, I showed you and, and, and just follow those steps. It'll be simple and you should be able to enjoy any game that you you may have pay, um, played in your past, your childhood, or you still play today. Um, retro gaming is a possibility on the Apple TV, as you can see. Um, I'm just using this game as a um, purpose of this video to show you guys that it works. Uh, it's not one of my favorite games. I, I've actually never played it on Game Boy Advance. Um, I did play the Daily Alliance on Game Boy Advance, which I probably should have played and downloaded because I'm much better in that one. Um, but yeah, man, <laughs> I have to get used to the controls on the PlayStation 4 in a Game Boy Advance format. If the creators of Providence could uh, add the capability of mapping out the controllers and you can actually set the buttons that you want to um, use on the layout that would be beneficial that'll be much easier and um, you know um, I'm pretty sure we'll appreciate that uh, round two I was still getting my butt kicked I put up a better fight but it, it wasn't enough man um, shout out to this <laughs> this computer AI sub-zero he knew exactly what he was doing um, but yeah as you can see the fight is almost over uh, I will be making more videos, maybe um, a playthrough of when I actually do start playing these games seriously and um, add them to YouTube. And um, that way you guys can watch and enjoy and, and just relive these nostalgic moments with me, man. Um, hit me up if you have any questions or requests help with any games. Like I've said um, here, I'm just going to go back to the home screen. And I'm pretty much done with this tutorial video. This is my uh, retro game library. And um, yeah, man, Apple TV is not dead. It's, it's, it's alive and well, and you can pretty much do anything, man. And as um, soon as I figure out how to do Moonlight streaming through Steam and GeForce, I'll do that as well on here. Enjoy you guys' day.